Yes, so I'm in Milton Keynes this weekend for Reggae Land Festival, which has very kindly aligned itself with uh, what people are calling the biggest storm the UK has seen this year. But yeah, I'm playing today. I've got a set in about an hour and a half, two hours from now. I drove down yesterday. I spent the night in this pub car park. I'm just leaving now. They let you stay for free in a van if you uh, have some food and drink whilst you're here. That's nice of them. It's quite a nice place, actually. They're um, in the process of like re-thatching their roof. I think that's what you'd call it. I'm, um, I'm on pretty early today. I'm playing on a carnival float stage, I think it is. It is outdoor, so I'm not expecting there to be <laughs> that many people there, um, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. And yeah, and hopefully the next shot you see will be me at the festival in the sun. So here, it's not currently raining, thankfully. So I think this is the stage that I'm playing at. Sort of a carnival float, side of lorry vibe. I've got a feeling this is gonna be the only part of the day that isn't absolutely melting down with rain. So I'm gonna go and do a little sight walk whilst I can. What I tell you, this is the biggest reggae climb in the UK. We are gonna have some fun today, yeah? There's been a big mistake. If you look on the itinerary, it says that this is the main stage. That's a mistake. This is solo stage, yeah? Don't make nobody confuse you. On my stage, this. We run things around us. <laughs> Not so much for this uh, storm, eh? So yeah, not really sure what to expect from my set. It's a weird one, because on one hand, it's probably the biggest, most official, legit event I've been booked for, uh, which I do feel a lot of imposter syndrome around. And probably the, the most unknown artist on the lineup, I would say. So I don't think anyone's gonna really come and see me specifically. And I think a lot of people are gonna come a bit later in the day, just with the weather forecast. So I'm not expecting it to be too busy. Bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini ben Bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang bang bini ben Bang bini bini bang bang bini bang the two are we a walk and the two are we a talk She a we a roots, she ma and we a class Them a go pam pass in a sun sheet glass They call the flag that them gonna hire a high spark Hey yo, launching up the one like Simma Today's a party in session If you want the vibes of man like Simma gonna make one Bust the trigger finger but we not promote the weapons Check one, check two and now it's time to blow our set up Get bless up you know that Sim has got the best ups Put the needle on the 7 inch record and come test us Learn lessons, what? Can you know we got the teaching it up? Screaming peace in love and big speakers we trust one love Right, I'll quickly just pause here as I forgot to film too much of what happened next. Yeah, the crowd picked up quite a bit for my set, to be fair. It probably helped that it didn't rain. Yeah, thank you if you came along. I recorded my set and I've put a bit of it up in my latest radio show. So if you do want to listen to that, there's a link to that in the description. After my set, I went on a big mission to actually go pick up all my accreditation stuff. The very nice staff basically put me on a buggy to go pick that up. Then I went and got some catering, which was great, just what I needed. Took it onto this hill to check out a bit of David Rodigan. And then it started raining and it did not stop raining. So I mostly just stayed at the big top tent thing for most of the day, which was undercover. Met up with some of the other artists and just hung out. Uh, but yeah, anyway, my work performer kind of duties are over. So let's uh, go enjoy the festival as a fan. Yeah. 
Yes, massive. Yes, massive. I want two big songs come together. Everybody wins. See? Everybody wins. That lets us come in with the final thing. People are. So yeah, I didn't end up going to see any of uh, Beanie Man who was headlining the main stage that night. Trojan were my headliners. Had a really long day, just, yes, yeah, wanted to get to bed. Having some uh, problems with some rain uh, leaking into the van, <laughs> which I needed to sort out as well. Drivers get a good night's sleep and be rested for day two. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the Sunday. made it in his game plan. Firstly, go and see if I left my hat on the stage as DJ not yesterday. I've either left it there or just not built it. 
Okay, I'll save us all some time here. Um, I went to the stage and the hat was not there. Uh, but when I was going through this footage, I found this. So I guess I did leave it there. Uh, I guess I won't be seeing it again. Not sure what would have happened to it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to the video. Let's enjoy day two, get some food and listen to some Lovers Rock. Reggae lad, how you doing? You ready for the rest of the day? But before that, are you ready for Miss Janet Kay? I said, are you ready for some Miss Janet Kay? Are you enjoying Reggae Land? Scream if you enjoy Reggae Land. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so this next one, this track this year is 46 years old. I performed this on Top of the Pops back in the day. If you know this one, I want you to sing along with me. Take it away. Let me see the flag them. If you have on the colours, let me see your colours. Wave your colours. If you wear any clothes, just push out. You know, everybody good, yeah? It's a little bit muddy, cause it was raining all day yesterday. So just watch your step. I remember everything we do around here is with love. All we do is love. You know, if you're walking past somebody, you just know, say, excuse me, with love, you understand? Right, I don't know if you could hear that, but basically I went to check out this pop-up reggae museum thing, uh, and as soon as I started filming, I was asked to stop. Not entirely sure why, but of course I respect their wishes and stopped filming. Uh, but yeah, but there's a lot of interesting stuff, the sort of big archive of posters and flyers and a bunch of studio equipment and instruments dating back sort of 40 plus years. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out if you ever get the opportunity. Um, yeah, then um, I got chatting to one of the organisers for a while, just learning more about the exhibit and his work and what he does. Uh, and then he asked me if he could take my photo. So, of course, I obliged, you know, good content. Uh, so, yeah, uh, here's that photo. <laughs> okay, back to the video. <laughs> Okay, since I'm here with my um, fancy new 360 camera thing, I was thinking I might try doing like a time lapse thing, walking all the way around the top of the bowl, all the way to over there, speed it up. I look quite cool. I do feel a bit like I'm on top of this hill assembling a sniper rifle <laughs> or something. <laughs>
That was me this time, not them. <laughs> We've been talking on the microphone for many, many years. In the 80s in the UK, we developed a fast style, speed rap style. Big up Tifa, big up Saxon Sal. So Maccabee can talk very fast. And the drummer, he can also drum very fast. But for some reason, the drummer thinks he can drum faster than Maccabee can talk. Okay, just to pause here and give some context as this does go on for like a full five minutes. <laughs> Basically, they were giving away a copy of this record if anyone knew the answer. And I actually did know the answer. I just didn't really bother to shout out as I was quite far away um, and definitely wouldn't have been able to be heard. Uh, but yeah, the Sister Audio track, English Girl, it was originally released through the Jazz Shaka music label. It was one of the very first releases on his label. And I know this mostly because I recorded a radio show in tribute to Shaka after he passed away, uh, which is up on my Mixcloud if you want to listen. Uh, I'll put a link on screen now. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, just wanted to, uh, you know, set the record straight, protect my street cred and that. I'm going to take this back on For those of you who don't know, English Girl was originally released by Ja Shaka label. The great Ja Shaka. When I say more, you say power. More. 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 Power to the people. Good over evil. 
Didn't end up seeing any of Sean Paul either, who's headlining the Sunday. Need to hit the road to get back home. And yeah, Barrington Levy, real headliner in my eyes. Great to tick that off the bucket list finally. Big thank you if you were one of the people that came to see me play. Big thank you to the festival for inviting me down. If you're someone that's watched this video all the way to the end, then you'll probably enjoy this video on screen now, uh, where I take you behind the scenes at Gotwood Festival in Wales when I DJ'd there. So check that out if you're interested and I will see you on the next one.